When learning any new programming language for the first time, you typically start off with what's called a Hello World program. And all this program does is it prints the words Hello World to the screen. And the point of this program is to verify that your Java development environment is set up correctly and working and that you're able to compile your program, you're able to run your program, and you're also able to view the results of the program, which should just be the text that says Hello World. So we're going to try this out. We're going to write a Hello World program, and all it does is some basic Java output. Printing output to the screen is a common programming task, and it's typically done using either the print LN, which stands for print line, or the print method. And the differences between the print LN and print methods are that print LN will print Hello World to the screen, as seen in this example here, and it'll move the cursor to the next line. In contrast, the print method will print hello world and stay at the end of the current line that you're at. And a string literal is text in your program that is surrounded by the double quotation marks. So in this example that we're looking at, the words hello world are string literals. So let's try out the hello world program in Eclipse and test out some basic Java output. To get started to write Java applications, you should go to your package explorer that's this area on the left hand side of the screen. If you don't see it, you can select Window, Show View, and find the Package Explorer to add it to your Eclipse. And once you're inside the Package Explorer, just right click inside there and select New, Java Project. And this is the name of a folder that's going to contain your Java programs. You can call this anything that you want. I'm just going to call it after the channel, App Official and select finish and here's your Java project called AppFicial and select the arrow next to it to expand it and you'll see a, a folder inside called SRC which stands for source code right click this folder and select new class and this is going to be our hello world class so right inside the name field we're going to type hello world with a capital H in a capital W, no spaces, no dot Java extension. Select public static void main to automatically add a main method so you don't have to type it in there. And your main method is the main part of your program where all your code is going to go. And right inside there, between the curly braces, I'm going to type system.out.println hello world. I can put a space in between and if I click the green arrow it will run the program and I don't need to actually compile separately because Eclipse automatically compiles for you and you can see that by selecting on project and build automatically is checked by default so it automatically compiles meaning if I have a semicolon missing I right away get an error You see the red X right there and the little squiggly red line at the end it's telling me that I have an error and and that's because I'm missing the semicolon. So add that back in there, the error goes away. So the print line statement will print hello world to the screen and then go to the next line. And to see that, I'm gonna do this twice. So I copied it by, with control C and pasted it with control V. Now I have two hello world print statements and you can see that it went to the next line. Whereas if I use print instead of print line, it will print hello world twice in a row without going to the next line. And instead it's all on a single line. So you can just change just one of them to print line because the second one doesn't matter because there's nothing coming after it and that will separate the two. And this is a very basic Java output. System.out is your system's output stream which sends data to your console. This is the console. And println stands for print line and this is a method. And these things in the parentheses are arguments to that method. That means that this is data that's being passed to the method and displayed on the screen because that is what the print line method does.